Welcome back to the channel. We are here February 22nd. It's going to be the breakdown for the DraftKings slate on February 23rd. A nice nine game slate that we have um, some nice competitive games on tomorrow's Tuesday slate. It's going to be jam packed. I'm looking forward to it. And this is what I'm going to provide you 7K and below value plays so you can pay up for all these stars on Tuesday slate. Uh, let's see who's in a good spot. Some guys you want to pay up for. Uh, Doncic on the second leg of a back-to-back. I don't like that. Um, I'm leaning more towards um, Boston in that game. Um, he might come out and play well, but I definitely think uh, Boston bounces back after that embarrassing performance on Saturday on on Sunday. Excuse me. Ted Kumbo's in a decent spot where he can clearly cut through that Minnesota team, but. You got to also factor in Minnesota with a new coach. They might be a little bit more motivated. Um, Jokic going up against uh, Ennis Canner is a smash spot. I think Jokic stands out a lot. Um, Harden going up against Sacramento. That's a very easy defense to go through. He's in a nice spot. Uh, Joel Embiid in a bounce back against Toronto. I don't think they get swept by Toronto. I think uh, Embiid is going to have to put the team on his back obviously, and do like one of those performances he did against the Chicago Bulls. Um, Lillard needs a bounce back spot, and this is a good um, cure. Um, the Denver Nuggets defense, that does help. Um, so we got some nice guys, nice guys there. Um, starting at point guard, 7K and below, we're going to first look at Kemba Walker. He's been playing very up and down. He shot 5 for 21, horrible shooting day against the New Orleans Pelicans. He he shot 1 for 12 from the three-point line. If Once you miss like 8, 3, or like 6, 3, stop. Just just stop. Just stop, man. You clearly should have took the ball to the basket each and every time. You hurt your team each and every time you took that shot. So, um, you're getting Kemba Walker at 6,400 at the cheapest price I think he's ever been all all season. Um, give me him at 64. He's getting over 30 minutes. This is a must win game for them after that horrible, horrible loss. They gave a 24 point lead against the Pelicans. Kemba Walker is definitely in a nice bounce back spot going up against the Dallas Mavericks. Buddy Heald at shooting guard going up against the Brooklyn Nets. High pace. They're going to need his scoring if they're going to keep um, within distance um, going up against the Brooklyn Nets. The last time he played the Nets, 33 minutes, 7 to 13, 6 and 9 from the three point strike, 33 DK. That's what I'm looking for. I'm hoping for 35 to 40, but if you can give me 33, I will be happy uh, with that six sixty three hundred dollar price. Um, Next, we're going to look at Detroit, and they, Detroit is like they have no they have no one left. They really don't. They have no one left. Josh Jackson is going to be their main scorer. He shot bad um, against Orlando, but he's taken like 23 shots. That's r absolutely ridiculous. If he made like half his threes, he had 40, um, 40 DK. So they kept him at the same price, but the, the minutes are going to be there, the the attempts are going to be there, and it's the, the same opponent. I think he definitely, definitely bounced back. This is one of my favorite plays for tomorrow. Um, Josh Jackson on the Detroit Pistons. They have no other help on that team besides him. And then also at guard, Dennis Smith Jr. We're hoping, we're hoping that Saban Lee doesn't take all these minutes again. And there's a reason why Dennis Smith Jr. is on his team. He started. I don't know why he only got 15 minutes. He wasn't really in foul trouble. He did have four turnovers, so it could have been a turnover thing, the reason why, but we're going to – this is a new game. It's the same opponent. I expect better. They bumped him up $200. So let's get him before he gets too high. Delen Wright is going to be out a couple weeks, so – this is his chance. DSJ's chance to, you know, step up. You got a second opportunity with the Detroit Pistons. Show something, man. You definitely have the talent. Um, I don't it just you don't care anymore. I don't I really don't know. But the minutes should be there. You're starting point guard, you should get 30 minutes. Stop the turnovers. That must have been the reason why they benched you. We're gonna take a shot at forty two hundred. he's a starting point guard at forty two hundred with talent. Like I'm willing to take a chance on him at 4,200 in tomorrow's slate. 
Um, at power forward, we're going to look at John Collins at 6,500. Um, a very nice performance against Denver in 30 minutes, 5 for 13. Didn't make any threes, which was a surprise. He's become a better three-point shooter as of late, but got you a double-double. Two blocks, three assists, got you 35 DK. That is a solid return on your price. But I want more. And since they kept him at that same price before he jumps to 7K, because that's where he belongs, we're going to ride that wave. We're going to take John Collins at 6,500 before he, it, it, you know, explodes. And this is a perfect matchup going up against the Cleveland Cavaliers, who are atrocious. Um, uh, next play, last but not least, Nerlens Noel at center, 4,900, with Mitchell Robinson being out. Um, they really don't have any bigs to to lean on. Todd Gibson is not really a center, and Obi Toppin is pretty much a power forward. Um, they're not going to really need a center going up against Draymond Green and the small ball unit. Um, in Golden State, but this does lean to an opportunity that he can get you know, rebounds and a possible double-double. The minutes are there. The last four games, 32, 27, 30, and 29. We're, we're looking for 30 DK. Um, he's kind of gotten there. He's been in foul trouble dealing with a night, a lot of good bigs. He had to deal with Carl Anthony Towns, Vucevic, um, Clint Capella, and DeMarcus Cousins. So now he's going to have a little bit of relief. I think he can take advantage of the bigs that, not really bigs that the Warriors have, but take away, take advantage of the situation where it's just going to be a whole bunch of mainly power forwards that he's going to go up against. He should eat up the boards, get his blocks that he usually does, and, and definitely get you at least 10 points. So taking a shot at 4,900 with Nerlens as well in a nice, um, game spot against the Golden State Warriors who don't have any bigs. Um, and that's going to be the core right there. I, I left two open spots. Um, the average remaining salary is going to be 7,900. Uh, let me know how you feel about this core. Comment down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MessengeSD. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 300. Once we get to 300, I'll be giving away some money for you guys. For that 300th subscriber, they'll get some free money if you want to place a bet. If you want to make a lineup, it's going to be there for you. Um, we're almost there. Share the video. Tell someone else. Get connected. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Peace out.